So let me go ahead and show you the bottom here. So I'm going to also go around here just to give you a look at a close up of after it's opened. So you could get a sense of how everything's arranged. Close up. And let me rotate this. And I'll show you the hard drive, um, the hard drive and the memory. Give you a better idea of how upgradable that is. As you can see, the battery is all the way in the front. And actually, let me show you the RAM right now. Just a quick look. So your RAM is just your typical laptop RAM slot with the sides and you'll notice here this is a 4 GB meaning there is four so in total this is eight gigs so it is four gigs on board and four gigs in this chip and there's only one chip so if you want to upgrade to 12 gigs you're gonna to have to take this out and replace it with an eight, eight gig and this is your typical slot where you're you're just uh, spreading these on the edges so this is nothing normal I mean nothing uh, unusual here so let me go ahead and show you that and it's again it's hard to do but all you do is spread these you know spread these out like that and it, it'll come up so, so you notice it just sprung up and you just take it out and that is the RAM slot so I'm going to seat this back in snug and push it down and that snaps right in and it has a heat shield. So let me go ahead and... So when you're prying this, just uh, be a little bit careful here. This isn't something I did, I'm pretty sure. It's just crinkled like that because it goes under the hinge. So it's likely something they did. But nevertheless, when you're prying it with your gift card, you really want to be a little bit more careful with that. That's the fan, the battery here, and this is the hard drive, and the speaker, and the battery itself. So we just want to give you a steady close up here and I am going to change out the hard drive now. So notice this is a slim line hard drive. SSD and my SSD is going to fit perfectly because that's the typical size there. And if you look closer what I'm going to do is stick my fingernail here where the connector is and just separate it out. 
So, so that here, that there is the connector. And usually at this point, most people know what to do. Um, but simply, I'm just going to lift this, lift this hard drive. So I'm just going to lift it up and put my fingernail there and basically just pull this out so you can see so that's the hard drive and this is my other hard drive and I am gonna clone this so if you don't know how to clone it with free software on the internet just uh, look at my video where I use Macrum to Macrum reflect to just uh, clone it and you can see just the way this is. This is very slim line and thin. You know, but this is going to be lighter too. So this this has got to be about five ounces lighter than this one. So that's going to add to the weight. Lessen the weight there, I mean. And that simply disassembles like that. And I'm going to put it on the new one. down. Of course I'm just demonstrating here but um, so these has those screw holes that I just insert and it's more like a shock absorber here but at this point it's uh, fairly easy to figure out. You know I'm just gonna slip it in this side and that's really it. That is how you upgrade the Acer Spire R5, and I hope this helped, and uh, thank you for watching. And uh, please subscribe, by the way. So yeah, that's uh, really all I'm going to do here, is basically you know, stick this in, and the holes are always standard. And once again, I'm a little bit clumsy here because I am doing the video. Whereas, you'll actually just uh, be interacting with it like that. But um, this is basically it. And uh, there you go. And uh, thank you for watching.